Hello everyone, this is CoolPro195 and welcome to a very special unboxing video and this unboxing video happens to be my very first unboxing video of 2017. As you can see, I have a brand new setup simply because I have more crates to actually balance my stuff on and you can clearly see I'm not doing it on the bed this time so hopefully this setup will work, up, will work out much better than my previous setting when I had, you know, when the lighting was pretty much just shit. Well, it wasn't that bad, but it could have been so much better still. But anyways, yeah, we got this special big ass package right here that I'm gonna unbox real soon. And of course, to start off with, as you can see, like, it's covered in a fuck ton of tape. So therefore, like this is the first time I'm actually doing this, but you know, since it's going to be a lengthy process, I might as well, I figured I might as well cut that part out where I cut out the tape, so yeah, see you lot when I got rid of all this tape. Right, so now we finally got rid of all that tape, might as well, I figured, I might as well just take these off real quick since, you know, it's just a bit more for the, the build up, but I didn't waste too much time there. After all, these are just piss easy to do, so yeah. Get that off. And here we have it. The, the package is slowly unraveling its epic contents. The epic contents are wait. Yeah, this is building information. I'm not gonna include that as part of the video. So yeah, and I see it wrapped up in a load of newspapers and let's see how legendary this is oh and what do we have here a fuck ton of backups with 100 sega games well this is a bonus surprise well either that or you just included this here by accident but oh well i'm b i'm b in disc 2 okay <laughs> anyways I'm not sure if that's even the main part, but you probably did mention it in the description, but as far as I remember, I don't remember any backups to mention in the description, although, hold that thought. Oh, and what do we have here? Two Sony PlayStation controllers, but is that all? No way, because there's also a PlayStation memory card right here. And what could this potentially be? Well, the main content is right here. <laughs> and they generously supply a power supply and an AV cable with a SCART adapter. But of course AV ain't the best connection, but you know. But we'll see. Anyways, the controllers obviously hint that it's a PlayStation 1. <laughs> But we'll see. <laughs> but this PlayStation One isn't just any isn't just any old PlayStation One. Now, as you can see right here, <laughs> this case. Oh, there's more tape for me to um to actually chop off. They wrapped this up real good. I'm not gonna lie. Is I apologies for. Sorry. Anyways, I apologise for this, for being nonchalant about it, if you can put it that way, but, you know, it is what it is. Anyways, that's the tape gone, and time to make this more of an epic unravelling. Here we have the big main item. It looks darker than usual, but unless that's just the bubble wrap the way I'm seeing it but you know yeah it's probably just the way I'm seeing it through the bubble wrap but yeah and what do we have inside this epic bubble wrap I see I'm starting to see some true colors now well if you call grey a true color <laughs> but yeah oh shit so much bubble wrap 
and what we have here is right people we have here like a PAL PlayStation 1 model that's modelled SCPH 902 as you see right here but this isn't any old PAL PS1 model this is this is a region free chipped console which enables me to play like every single PlayStation 1 game for the region PAL NTSC U slash C and NTSCJ and I'm talking original games and backups so if there are any PS1 prototypes on the internet I can always back them up but I don't see why the seller would have included 100 so 100 Sega games in the backup CD but they sent quite a few which I was completely unaware of by the way so yeah I'm not I'm not I'm really not a person to infringe copyright or anything I'm I'm not a guy to do pi like piracy isn't really my thing <laughs> but yeah so yeah that's something on the seller's point there and there's tape in front of the ps1 for some reason well i might as well remove that i don't know whether there's a reason for that but <laughs> oh yeah and the reason why this ps1 and also another reason how this is modded is that you're not just playing any old ps1 game like you play like the actual ps1 games at a smooth frame rate, the seller has told me that there's no lag in the game, so presumably you'll be able to play PAL games at 50 hertz and NTSC games at 60 hertz, like you're supposed to, like as normal. I gotta love that nostal nostalgic sound right there. PlayStation One sure is a wonderful console, and it's. It's amazing to even have a modded console here right now, and I got this. I actually managed to get this quite cheap, and not only that, but another purpose I that I bought this, that I actually bought this modded console together, so I can actually make actual playthroughs and let's plays or whatever of PS1 games, but provide, but also provide the authentic experience coming from the original console itself. Apart from just using emulators like like it's generically done on the internet, but then again, for me to do that, I'm gonna have to wait for my XRGB frame meister to come through because I ordered it from so there's Japan and they said it'll be shipping with the March batch, so yeah. And the reason why I ordered that upscaler is so I can provide it in the most authentic experience possible. And it upscales it like the best in comparison to any old cheap HDMI upscaler, which I also happen to own, but at the moment the cheap upscaler will be like the best I have, just upscaling RGB signal to HDMI. But yeah, and this is also a nice clean console right here, and you can tell that this is also an, an SCPH9002 9, model because there's no there's no expansion port back here. There's no parallel port, like as it's called. But as normal, you see the power supply over here. The AV multi out, which you connect your RFU cable, your AV cable, and your RGB SCART cable. And a serial input and output port, which is right here. But yeah. <laughs> but yeah, the Frame Meister. With the Frame Master, I'll get brilliant results out of upscaling the RGB signal to HDMI. So, this AV cable right here would immediately become pointless, but it's nice that the seller actually supplied it anyway. But yeah, but, and even though, like, and plus, I'd rather actually record, if I'm going to record PS1 games, I want to do it properly, not just of a cheap upscaler i just do it with any old i just do it with a really good upscaler that's highly recommended and microsoft engineers who have developed the xrgb frame meister have like shown great results well for those channels like my life in gaming they've reviewed the device 
the XRGB Mini and its and the results were amazing in comparison to PS3 backwards compatibility and everything so if anything the best if you want to get the best quality out of a PlayStation 1 game like it's best like through the most like through original hardware and through the most legit experience ever then the best bet is an actual PS1 with an RGB SCART cable, a pro RGB SCART cable provided by Microsoft, the company who also developed the XRGB Frame Meister and also the XR and also the XRGB Frame Meister itself. And yeah, and some of you already know that I also have and this by the way, for those of you who are, who are new to my channel, this is not just any old modded this is not the only modded console that I have. That's. This is not the only modded classic console from the 90s that I have. Because for those of, because those of you who have previously watched my older unboxing videos from that date back to 2015 will know that I have a Sega Saturn PAL model that's also region free modded. But the difference is that you can actually play that. You can play PAL games and NTSC games at both 50 hertz and 60 hertz within the simple quick, within the simple press of an action button whenever you hold it down for a few seconds and the LED light changes. But this is obviously not a case, so yeah, I'm just going what the seller told me. So yeah, this presumably works with any PS1 game, whether it's like an official release, whether it's an actual legit copy or a backup. But yeah. It's really nice to have a working PS1 with mo that's actually modded to play all PS1 games, so yeah. <laughs> Anyways, that's officially this video. That, that officially concludes this unboxing video for my first ever unboxing video of 2017. And I've got to say, I had a lot more to say than I actually thought I would. But yeah, anyways... Because this is also an interesting topic, but yeah, anyways, I might as well end this off. So yeah, see you guys, see you lot in my next upcoming video, whichever it may be. Or live stream, wherever it is, so feel free and be sure to smash that subscribe button, demolish that like button, like right, however you want to put it, or share it with others, whoever they may be. So yeah, anyways, that, so that concludes this video, see you lot in my next video. My next upcoming project on YouTube or Twitch, wherever it may be. Laters everyone, peace out.